<clears throat> What's up YouTube? Thanks for hanging out with me today on another 2022 Harley Davidson video. I know that rumors have been coming in hot, but this time we're actually going to look at some real life photos of the new incoming 2022 Harley Davidson Street Bobs. We have some new photos of the Street Bobs that are coming into dealerships and the credit here goes out to Riverside Harley Davidson for sharing these amazing photos uh, of the new 2022 Street Bobs with us. So in this video we're going to cover two big changes that I can see uh, on the new 2022 Street Bobs and then I'll ask you guys the question, did Harley Davidson get this right? I'm just going to stop talking and sit back and show you some of the photos that I found right now. All right, all right. So did you like what you see? What did you see that was different from the 2021 models versus the 2022? Okay, so let's dissect this a little bit further. So from these photos, there's two new colors and one that I couldn't find a picture of, which is the gunship gray. But going back to these photos, there's a red line red, and I think that's the official name of the color, and one that is blue. And like I mentioned, the gunship gray is available, but I just couldn't find the picture of it. So those are the new colorways for the street bobs. Now, I'm not 100% certain if these are all the colors that we have, or if there's more coming in that we just haven't seen yet, but we do have confirmation of those three colors coming in for the 2022 Street Bobs. Super exciting. We can very clearly see that they're keeping the same logo on the tank of the Street Bob. Let me know what you guys think about these colors. If you ask me, I'm not really like a red motorcycle kind of guy, but this red line red really works on the Street Bob, I think. I think it gives the Street Bob like a really nice classic look. And I'm pretty sure that in person, this color will look even better. And then with the blue, I'm... <sighs> So with the blue, I'm having a little bit of trouble with the blue. I think Harley missed the mark here on this color, in my opinion. So I feel like they're trying to be a little bit too bold with this blue. To me, it just kind of misses the mark. Again, that is just my opinion. You guys might like it. But Gunship Gray is also another color that I think is going to just look fantastic on the Street Bob. So no worries about that one there. The other big change that I saw are the Mad Wheels. And this is pretty huge. So in my experience, you either fall into two camps. One camp being you really love the spoke wheels. The other one, you absolutely hate them. Usually there's no middle ground. For me personally, I'm not a huge fan of the spoke wheels. So I'm glad to see Mad Wheels on the Street Bob. I think it's a much better option than the spoke wheels. Now to me, the choice of these Mad Wheels are interesting to me. Uh, personally, I would have loved to see a similar styling of the Mad Wheels that you see on a Sportster go on the Street Bob. To me, this kind of looks a little, a little clunky. Uh, it doesn't have like a streamlined look that the Street Bob really has going for it overall. I really think the mag wheels on the Iron 83 or the Iron 1200 would have looked perfect on the Street Bob. That's just my opinion. Now it looks as though those two items are the big ticket item changes on the 2022 Street Bob. To me, it looks like the Street Bob still has the 114, the traditional forks, single disc brakes, uh, mini apes, mid controls, all just like the previous models. But the one thing that I don't know is if the price is going to be the same as the 2021. My guess is that it's going to be increased by maybe like 500 to thousand dollars to account for the mag wheels. But again, we won't know until they release the prices. So there you have it folks. And to me, it begs the question, like, what do you think? I personally like that Harley is coming out with something slightly different on the Street Bob. If I'm being honest, I was just expecting new paint on the Street Bobs, considering that they came out with the 114 engine on the 2021 model, so that was a big upgrade. And now you have mag wheels. Uh, looks like the Street Bob is getting really close to the Lowrider S in terms of feature set. We're just waiting on the price to see which one compares more objectively based on the features and the price. I personally think the mag wheels uh, are going to have a lot of people thinking twice about the Street Bob. For me, when I was shopping for a new bike, I know one of the big reasons why I went with the Lowrider S is because of the mag wheels versus the spoke wheels on the Street Bob. I also know that a lot of people will share the same opinion. So there you have it. Well guys, that's it for me today, a really short video. I usually don't post videos like this midweek, but with news like this, I just wanted to hop on here and share it with you all. I hope you've all found this video informative, and if you did, please go ahead and give this video a like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, because, because we're going to constantly bring fresh content like this in 2022. 
All right, I'm going to bounce out of here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.